rolling. Okay, so here we are with this 2020 GMC Denali truck uh, diesel. So what we did was, if you can imagine, I'm sure you guys have seen them, this is all chrome, because it's the Denali package. Chrome. They love their chrome. Yep. So what we did is we went ahead and had this hood bump right here, this hood scoop, which is actually a functional hood scoop. It actually cools the motor. It does. Anyways, it was chrome, this was chrome, so we went ahead and body color matched this. We went ahead and blacked this out per the customer's request. Uh, we went ahead and body colored on the inside in here, which was really a tedious process as we can't take these apart. So what we have to do is we have to fine line inside there. It gets really tedious, but we have the greatest guys here, so no big deal. Looks pretty good. So we did the body color and then black on the outside. Like I said before, the customer wanted to keep a little bit of chrome to accent the headlights. Uh, went ahead and did the bottom piece here too, black. If you pull out, Joe, and you look at it, it looks really good with the chrome even. It does look pretty good. Okay. So what we did here is we didn't want too much chrome to offset the bottom here, so we did these pieces too, which were also chrome. So chrome and black. Chrome and black. So that was what we did to the front end here. If you come around... It's a pretty cool feature here. Look, it says HD. And you know what this HD means is that when insurance companies come after us and they say we have to use aftermarket headlights, we say, hell no. It has HD inside there and they don't make that aftermarket. No, sir. So that's OEM pretty only. Shady right there, baby. So Duramax sign here was also chrome around here. We were able to pop this Duramax piece out and go ahead and paint these. Yes, sir. I would not recommend doing this at home. We had to um, heat up the plastic glue, separate them, paint them. Put them back in and re-glue the back side. So yes, do not if, try at home. Yeah, if you if you do, you may break it. Yeah, and they're not cheap. No. Let's just put it that way. So these This here also are, stands for hundred dollar. <laughs> there ain't nothing on here less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> so right here we had these lights uh, inside the flares. Uh, they did have a little GMC in here. No big deal. Yep. We want them to match the flares and not look so poppy and orange like this color here. Yep. So we went ahead and blacked them out completely. Um, here we went around the mirrors now that you can see them put together you've seen the pieces last week we showed yes, you sir. Um, so this week we're going to show you what we got here is perfectly black chrome Beautiful. delete Beautiful. and these mirrors you know they slide in and out you know fancy stuff still not okay with them being on the door the mirrors should be yeah right here that was an afterthought this, this is was definitely an afterthought by gmc but ah. to each their own right right so and we, now you can see the door handles on the vehicle left the chrome button to match with the denali hd sign because if you buy denali you want to make sure everyone knows it's denali blingy blingy so color match these on no point on uh, point this guy uh this customer in particular rides a lot of dirt bikes rides a lot of motorcycles um so he does actually use these steps they are functional for him um, some customers don't we'd have them they'd have us paint this but so this was all raw plastic we went ahead and sanded this down uh, it was this textured plastic we sanded it down primed it smoothed it out so it has a nice smooth finish like the other panels beautiful so we pulled this apart and inside here we went ahead and got the paint inside here uh, to match the vehicle so it's gonna look really good and this is still functional frame with no paint chipping on here perfect other flare we did here perfect boom boom left the back here just nothing didn't do anything with the back um, was the bumper already white? The bumper was already white. Perfect. We did take off some emblems off the tailgate though. Yeah, so you had a big GMC emblem here that was kind of gaudy. No big deal. He didn't want that on there, so we took it off. Check us out. Sierra. It's cool. Yep. I, I like how they feature. I like how they so put the emblem inlays in there. If you guys haven't seen one of these new tailgates here and you haven't seen one of them functioning, they're pretty cool. Check it out. So top half opens, just clicks, comes down. So, hang on, hang on. Right you could kind of set your elbows right here. You could put some drinks up here if you want to hang out with the boys. Sodas and waters and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, adult beverages, whatever. <laughs> Secondary button is not functioning. So. Stand by. There, there we go. go. Bam. So, it's actually, you got to do that first. I'm sorry. I'm new to this, too. 2020. And that piece comes down and Check. then you have a little lever right here it's a simple little push comes down and you have a fancy step <laughs> look now, at that also functional as a seat it's a love seat it's a love seat now because you love your truck right like us, i don't think you want to put two fat guys in here no two skinny chicks and bikinis might be fine might be fine yeah no big deal love functional, it goes back up make sure you put that up it has to go in succession the same way you run down kind of heavy it's definitely a heavy tailgate not the sure only, the only downfall you'd have with this tailgate is that they have a hitch on here or you're on something this isn't going to function right? 
we'll be seeing my, lots of uh, oops. Yep. I jacked up my tailgate. That's right. We're going to see a lot of those. Thanks, GMC. Uh, again, back to this side. Same thing we do this side, color coded, you know, inside here. Yeah. Things like that. All right, let's take a quick peek inside. Shall we? Fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing me here. All right. So, so let's go ahead and check out the interior of this thing. See what we got. Brand nice new. Push button. You know, real quick, Travis, I noticed that that's an odd location. Yeah, it's down here. I'd rather it be up here. I mean, uh, really, when you're in the driver's the cockpit, that's, that's a weird spot. That's like they thought, mm, where do we put this piece? I think they did too much over here with all the concave curvatures. They could have put it here, yeah. like a Dodge. I don't know. Um, like always, you know, fancy interior. We got the brushed, brushed look here on the steering wheel. Uh, the brush trim here. I'm not too intrigued and I'm not too this plain. stoked about this. If you see the new 2019 uh, Dodge Ram trucks, they have that nice screen. There's lots of There's options lot, and yeah, stuff like this that. This looks plain. This is very, you know, yeah, it has all the navigation and everything you need, but I want it to look like the, like the cockpit of a helicopter for the money you pay for this thing, you know what I mean? Yes. Now, look at this. This is a part of the Cadillac. Yes. Did you know that this is the rear camera? It can be. You have to switch it to that mode. I don't know if I like that or not, though. That's really weird. I don't know. Well, don't, don't, call, don't, don't call OnStar, buddy. <laughs> I'm not operating. I don't, I'm not sure if that is. No, I saw it on the, on the movie. Okay, on the movie. <laughs> well, you know, they do have this screen so you can see a 360 view of your vehicle. That's pretty um, cool. I'm not sure how they do that if there's drone stuff above you, but. <laughs> this is magical uh, FBI stuff right yeah, here. So, exactly. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think that this is necessary unless you got a dually exhaust brake. I mean, cool added feature, but. I've got one it, on my Dodge. Is it necessary? Is it necessary? It is. Okay. It really does work pretty good. So we do okay. have the exhaust brake, which uh, they were smart to emulate Dodge that way. Um, hill descent, which is kind of cool if you're tone heavy. It helps you, um, you know, descend slowly. And you also have a button for your tailgate right here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's pretty interior. Uh, this is like a little... I plug. think that actually is for your... Uh, I'm not, I'm not 100% don't, don't quote me, but I think this is for your block heater, which sits down on the left side of the bumper over here. Yes. Um, you can turn on and off your park sensors if you don't want to hear them beep while you're backing up. So yeah. that's behind you. Big deal, that's pretty common. Um, lots oh. of power stuff. It does have automatic charging, which my Dodge does not, which is kind of cool. Wish it did have that. Trailer brake function, wired in, which I think is great. I have it in my Dodge, I love that. Um, I don't know, overall, I just think this. Um, the interior is really plain. Yeah. I mean, you have look through here. Um, I don't know if that's aftermarket, but it looks like there's a safe here. Yeah, that's cool. Got a safe. I'm not sure if it's aftermarket, but that's pretty cool. You know, you can put your uh, your weapons, America, in there. America. You know what I mean? Yeah. No big deal. But, I mean, the back is more roomy than I've seen in other Chevys, but it's still not as roomy as a Dodge or a Ford. No. It's pretty tight back there. Um, I don't like the fact here that they... Put the headliner here as if it was going to have the sunroofs in it, but they still had the cutout. Yeah, they should have still made it smooth out. It's kind I of think that's for your cowboy hat. You were in a 10 gallon, <laughs> maybe. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, two glove boxes like GMC and Chevy do. Uh, I don't know. I just think uh, this is a nice little cubby. You can get stuff lost in here. Um, I this the seats feel flat to me, Travis. Yeah. They don't feel like they grab you on the sides either. You know, I like that. I like that feel when they got a little bit more out yeah, here. The leather feels cheap. It does. It does feel cheap. Um, everything seems really disproportionate. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But to each their own. Let's, let's take right. it for a quick drive on the block. All right, let's do that. Here we go. If you'd like to have a nice uh, manual shifter. And you can spin and get. So, but it does seem pretty, uh, pretty peppy. It goes, it goes. Took a minute to get there, but it goes. See, even the gauges, they just look, um, 
you know, lackluster. I would, uh, I would be expecting digital gauges, but here we don't have the digital gauges, as you can see. Just kind of, just for as much money as you pay for this truck, I'd, I'd rather have the limited. Hell, even the Dodge Longhorns have better, um, better interior packages. Yes. One thing is cool that's over there, you can't see it now. Uh, this truck does have heads-up display, which is pretty cool. At nighttime, you can kind of keep your eyes on the uh, windshield, not your gauges. Yes. I'm not sure how much of the gauge info you have in the, the, the uh, heads-up that, that display. That actually rests back here, so yeah, you, know, you have that piece, that's how that functions yep. back there. Pretty expensive piece of machinery, but uh, it's not cheap. But overall, I think it's not bad. Look at this that? sexy beast. Oh, man, what is what? that? Oof. Whose truck is that? Oh. Whoa. Is that motherfucker? That must be a really cool dude right there owns that one. Well, got a cameo of that truck while we're reviewing this truck. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. And remember, motherfucker loves you. Motherfucker loves you. Go ahead and hit me a like and subscribe. Yep. And y'all be good.